And it's that exciting time of year. We're getting closer to the end of the school year. Uh, many local students looking forward to maybe getting behind the wheel with those new driver's licenses. And this morning, we're thankful to have Richard Herod III from White Bear Mitsubishi here to talk about, you know, what you should be looking for as the family maybe heads out to the car lot and considers buying a new vehicle for these young folks. Uh, you say research is really key, number one. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, there's plenty of research you can do online. Uh, according to the IIHS, they've got uh, the safest and most affordable vehicles you can buy for young drivers. Uh, it's not a surprise that vehicles like the VW Jetta or the Honda Accord made the list. And for SUVs, uh, the Subaru Forester, Mitsubishi Outlander Sport all made the safest and most affordable list. So looking for a vehicle that's safe for a young driver is uh, really important. I think mom and dad would be tuned into safety for sure. I mean, yes. the, the, the young person by <laughs> thinking about getting this car might be looking at some other features that they think are more important, but, exactly. but safety is top of the list. For me, how big the spoiler for, was. But, but there you go, or the important. wheels or whatever. But uh, so when you maybe consider a pre-owned vehicle or used vehicle, how do you know about uh, the condition of, of that vehicle? Is there a way to check and, and sure. make sure you're getting something quality? Yeah, well, first thing you want to do is uh, ask, for, ask the dealer for a Carfax. So uh, checking the Carfax report, Carfax, to show uh, even recent maintenance history, car accidents, if the car's ever been stolen or flooded or had hail damage. So it's really important that you get that. Any, any reputable dealer should be able to give that to you at no charge. And you know, after that, take a vehicle to a trusted mechanic. Uh, ha have a vehicle looked over, make sure the tires are good, the brakes are good. Right. Uh, there's no engine leaks or anything like that. If there is, you're right, if there's no report available, for example, in a particular vehicle, what, I mean, would you suggest then kind of getting that second opinion, taking it to a mechanic to inspect? Or well, I'd, recommend, I'd recommend doing both. I mean, if you don't have a mechanic or access to a Carfax report, mm -hmm. uh, bring the vehicle to us. We'll do a Carfax report on it for free, and we'll even inspect the car for free. Anything else you think the family should keep in mind? Uh, you know, just make sure that uh, the, the quality of the vehicle is good, maintenance history, uh, all that's super important. All right. Thank you, Richard Herod III, with us this morning from White Bear Mitsubishi. It's great to have you. Thank you. All right.